impressive when y'all come in all at one time. Very well, nice. It's just impressive to see me. That's, that's all it is. <laughs> that's good. Very proud. Mike Rucky, this is a nice video. These little meet and greets are like this have been excellent. We're getting a message across in smaller, intimate groups. So it's very good that we're touching home with the grassroots of Midland, Texas. And that's what it's about. Um, people can ask better questions, questions that they're really concerned about, and we can give them a good answer. And there's no rush. So that's what we're going to continue doing is having these small gatherings and uh, really reaching to the into the neighborhoods deep in Midland, Texas. Awesome, Jerry Morales from Merritt Midland. Thank you. It's safer for everybody to be on the road. And I'll just go to Interstate 20 while I'm there. I'm on another committee called the Midland Odessa Planning Organization. I work with TexDOT month, on a monthly basis identifying the infrastructure, road infrastructure in Midland, Texas. Now this committee is made up of members of Midland Odessa and TexDOT. Together we try to address some of the highway concerns. Right now we're trying to really talk about Interstate 20 and all the deaths that we're having on Interstate 20. It's a sad day in Midland, Texas that we're at 35 deaths. And we understand that. How can we put a stop to this? Well, definitely campaigning. We've got to have the campaigning on no texting, no driving. TextDot is going to come out under their Don't Mess With Texas campaign. They're going to start putting the uh, texting campaign under that. TextDot locally has that. There's a group called uh, Motran who has a drive safety campaign. All these campaigns that we're doing have got to continue. They've got to be funded and they've got to be aggressive. Motorcycle groups, car groups, City of Midland, Midland County, we all have got to be inputting resources into these campaigns so that the message is on billboards, it's on the TV, it's on the roads, wherever we need. It needs to be on traveling trucks, just like my, my mayoral campaign. When that comes down, it needs to be don't text and drive, don't be on your phone and drive, think about the guy next to you. If there's a motorcycle in front of you, watch out for it. You know, we've got to have these campaigns and be visible every day so that we can take these deaths from 35 to zero. My, my son, who's 20 year old, has lost two friends in vehicle accidents, not motorcycles, but just vehicles, because they were texting and driving. Coming out from almost a perfect stop, pulling out in traffic that's running 65 miles an hour. Yeah. Put in acceleration lights. That, that's exactly what both diesel and acceleration lanes. Uh, we are experimenting right now on Interstate 20, and I guess that's what I'm asking. Do, are they effective? Textile says they are. And uh, I wanted to make sure it's kind of considered a third lane, but it's also for that purpose. The, the inter particular intersection I'm talking about is, is on, a, on the Mesa, right before it drops down. Right. Um, I can't see traffic coming up the hill. And when by the time the traffic's coming up, I don't have enough time to pull out and get in into that. Sure. And so it's just a guess. Right. You know, the traffic's going to come <laughs> up over that. Well, and we've got to address some of those concerns because there's going to be some newer developments starting to take place on that interstate in that area specifically because we're starting to put infrastructure in there now. As you know, there's an apartment coming up, there's a hotel coming up, and so it's going to start developing. Uh, and we've got to take advantage of it while they're making these improvements because they'll make text on it. How about uh, ridden across country? Places that have, motors, uh, have police officers on motorcycles. They uh, seem to notice you better. <laughs> we have never ever had that discussion. Uh, in my point, a good discussion. So officers on the road are on yeah, Tennessee, other places, cross country, California. California. Any thoughts? I mean, does it? It helps. It does help. Very good. From my perspective, it helps. Sure. sure. They're looking for motorcycle cops. They're looking for motorcycles. <laughs> you reminded me, that's right. And at 27 years old, he's the youngest mayoral candidate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you.